Hey teachers, in this episode, we're gonna talk about how to settle a noisy or disruptive class. Come on, let's get into it. Okay, in this episode, we are going to be talking about how to settle or um, calm down a noisy and disruptive class. And I wanna just, before I get into it, just uh, establish some context for it. What I'm gonna teach you now is how you can uh, establish a routine that is going to calm your class down for future lessons. Uh, you may not find that these techniques work if you're in the middle of a lesson and the class is out of control. There are some other techniques that I can show you for that. This is more about what are some routines that you can put into play so that your class remains calm all the time. And uh, so if you have a particularly noisy or disruptive class, what I'd say is uh, use these tips the next time that you are with your class and you will find that it establishes a calmer routine and it will help you to gain, gain control of those disruptions in your class. Okay, so the first thing is this, everything that I'm gonna teach you happens in the first five to 10 minutes of your lesson, but it is really effective in calming down a rambunctious, noisy or disruptive class. The first thing is this, learn to meet your students at the door. Uh, by meeting them at the door, what it, it does a couple of things. Uh, first of all, you get to talk to the students that may want to engage with the teacher. They might have a problem. They might have some concerns that they want to get off their chest. And by being there, talking to them, you actually help to keep those um, disruptions outside of the class before everybody else comes in. It also places you as an authority over the classroom. When you manage the doorway or you manage the entry points to your room, you establish yourself as the person who's in charge of the room. And so by standing at the door, making sure it's closed and you're meeting your students there, you're having a chance to build relationship, learn about what's going on in their world, but also establish yourself as the person that's in charge of the classroom. The second thing you need to do is line them up. Uh, have some kind of starting routine where they give you their attention and they understand that they are transitioning from, say, a playtime to a learning time or whether it's from a social time to a time of concentration and a time of um, paying attention to what you need to teach them. So uh, that starting routine of lining up is a, what I would call a micro compliance. It's a, it's a little request that you make of them to see if they're willing to comply with your instructions. And what you will find is 80% of your kids do comply. Probably about 20% may give you a little bit of guff or may drag their feet in doing it, but you can generally with gentle conversation get them into line and it just helps you to establish uh, your position as the person who's in charge of the class and it helps you to see who's ready for learning or who's out of sorts and perhaps uh, not ready for learning. Okay, the third thing is this, you need to manage the way that they walk through the door. The way in which students walk through the door will establish the tone by which they start their lesson. You see, there's a, a very well-known um, concept called the doorway effect where when you walk through a door, your brain uh, momentarily forgets what it's been thinking of in order to take in behavioural information. And so if your students are walking through the door, their mind is momentarily forgetting what they were doing previously. They are taking in information about how they should behave in the new environment. If they're pushing, shoving, shouting, uh, being rambunctious as they walk through the door, that is the behaviour information they take in and that's how they will be when they come into the classroom. If you establish with your class that they walk through the door quietly, uh, single file, they don't push, they don't shove, uh, what behaviour information they will take in is this is a calm learning environment and I need to conduct myself in that way. So that's uh, teach and monitor how they walk through the door. Fourth thing is this, have a starting routine that they can do which is silent, independent and um, does not require you or um, you to interact or help them in any way. So this is a simple routine, it's not something complex, it's not a task that they need help with, it's not a task that you need to explicitly teach. It's something as simple as a word search, or a maths mentals quiz, or uh, reading a book silently, or mindfulness coloring in, something that will actually help them to calm down and bring their focus under control. It doesn't have to be long, it has to be about five minutes. It gives you a chance to walk around the class, settle any of your high flyers down, uh, get your stuff ready for your lesson, and get the class calm and ready for learning. So have a starting routine. And the fifth thing is this, how to get a noisy class under control, is make sure you have an attention grabber that you can use when you need to talk to your class.
fast. Don't talk over the top of them. Don't give instructions when they are not engaged with you. Make sure you have some attention grabber that gets their attention back to you, silences them so that you can actually communicate. A lot of the time when classes are noisy, as teachers, what we have a habit of doing is shouting over the top of them or raising our voice. All that does is make the noise worse and it makes us hoarse. Uh, so don't shout over the top of your class. Don't use a louder voice than them. Just have an attention grabber that brings them back to you. Make sure you wait till everybody is focused on you and then give your instruction or give your uh, lesson as need be. And keep doing this all day, every day. Don't uh, try and compete with noise in your class. Make sure you manage that through a attention grabber. So if you do those five things, so meet them at the door, line them up, manage how they walk through the door, have a starting routine and use an attention grabber, you will find that uh, your noisy classes become more manageable and less disruptive. Uh, time and time again, when I've taught this to new and beginning teachers and experienced teachers alike, they report back that this particular routine works all the time and it has a profound effect on noisy and disruptive classes. So give it a go. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'd love to hear back from you. If you want to dig deeper on this topic and others in behavior management, why don't you check out our behavior management essentials course. It's four hours of teacher training on classroom and behavior management. You can get the link in the description below. And if you're looking for something just to kickstart you, check out my behavior management blueprint, which is a free ebook and five video course that will also help to give you the five fundamentals of behavior management. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Why don't you give us a subscribe so that you get up to date on all the latest episodes and share it with somebody that you think will benefit. I look forward to hearing from you again soon. See ya.